let's one at a time make our uh, components look a little less boring. Say, did you all install the React Dev Tools in Chrome? You're definitely going to want to if you didn't. So it will create a new tab here called React. I always drag it up toward the beginning and it still puts it back. It'll give you something that looks kind of like the inspector, except look, it's not the DOM, it's our components. And when you click on one of them, notice it tells you the props. And if there were state, it would tell you the state. It tells you all kinds of really interesting stuff about your components, which once this gets complicated, will be very, very valuable. And conveniently, if I select note list here, and then I switch back to elements. Well, it didn't do it. Ignore me, I'm a big fat liar. I expected it to um, highlight the corresponding element on the page. I swear it used to work that way. Whatever. Anyway, React DevTools, wonderful things. We'll be using the heck out of them. For right now, let's start with the sidebar. We'll just go in order. Remember we uh, copied all those images from the static project? And I put them in the source directory, not in the public directory. Here they are, Google SVG, new, ping, stuff like that. Well, we're going to use some of these. And to use them, I don't just put an image tag with a source that points to the path to those files. What I'm going to do, because Webpack is configured to let me do this because Create React App did it for us, is I'm actually going to import those images into JavaScript variables. What? I know, weird, right? Let's do it. So I've got quill. This is our SVG, nice little quill icon. So up here, and I said I'm, I'm going to import these before I import, uh, well, I'm not in sidebar anymore. Okay. So after I import, my node modules. I'm going to import, I'm just going to say quill from dot slash. It's not actually auto completing this because it's not a JavaScript file, but it'll work. Quill SVG. And the name I give it here, this is just basically the local variable that that image is going to be saved in. So let's use it and see if we can get it to work. So inside my component here, I'm going to get rid of the word sidebar. And inside my div, I'm going to put another div with a class name of logo, where I'm going to put this thing. Div class name equals logo. Don't forget, class name, not class. And inside there, I'm just going to put an image. Now, images are empty elements, right? They do not have a closing tag in HTML, which means we need to make them self-closing here or we will have a problem. Let's see what the problem is, actually. Let's try it without doing that. Image source equals, and not a string. I'm not going to give it the path. I'm going to actually give it this JavaScript variable that holds our SVG. So source equals curly brace, because I'm going to put a JavaScript expression in there. I'm just going to say quill. And we are good citizens who are trying to make accessible websites. So I'm going to remember my alt attribute, which uh, we can provide with some alternate text that will appear on the page if for whatever reason the image can't display. Whether that's because there was a network error or because you're using a screen reader and images don't do you any good. Alt equals note herder. So I'm not going to actually put the word note herder anywhere on the page. I'm just going to put the logo. But if the logo doesn't show up, I want uh, note herder to show up. Now, I've already got all kinds of things turning red. Element div has no corresponding closing tag. Well, sure it does. Well, it thinks it doesn't because there's something in there that hasn't been closed. If we look at the squiggly here, expected corresponding JSX closing tag for image. That's our real problem. Let's see what's happening in the browser right now. Failed to compile expected corresponding JSX closing tag for image. So at least the error message is good. So we just put a slash there. Save that. Let's look. 
Oops. Meh. Where is it? Sidemar div class logo image. There it is. Well, looks like it loaded it okay. I just don't see it. It's zero by zero. Yes, it's teeny tiny. So, all right, we'll deal with that later. Outside of here, um, what does this thing look like? I've got my new, my new note button. So let's put that in there. So outside the logo, I'm just going to make that a link. So that would be an A, an anchor. I'm going to go ahead and put an href in there so it'll be a real link, even though I don't, I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know how this stuff works in React. So I'm just going to put slash notes in there for kicks because I don't know where it should go. I just want it to go somewhere. I suppose you could put hash in there. That means go to the current page. And inside that link, I'm going to put another image. The new note image. So that is, I've got uh, new.ping and new hover ping. All right. Let's start with new.ping. So import something from dot slash new dot ping. I'll call it new icon, camel case like that. New is not a valid variable name in JavaScript because that's a keyword. And I'll go ahead and also import new hover from dot slash new hover dot ping. And inside my link, remember I'm following JavaScript variable naming conventions here, camel casing things. I'm going to put an image. Just for the sake of readability on the screen up here, I'm going to go ahead and put some line breaks in my tag. Source equals, and again, the value is not a string. It's a JavaScript thing. Uh, I'm going to put new hover and give that an alt of new note. My closing tag. Self-closing. I line that up with the uh, opening angle bracket. I'm just going to put the other one right next to it. IMG source equals new icon, I think I called it. Alt equals new note. So this markup. Remember the static file that we uh, copied over, notes.html? This is the entire UI, all components together. If you look at the sidebar, this is basically what the sidebar looks like. I've got div class logo with an image. I've got an anchor, a link, href notes, class new note with a couple images in there, the hover and the new, they're just side by side. So I'm just copying this basically, trying to turn this static thing into um, our React, whatever it's called. Okay, I've got a squiggly here. Links must not point to that. Okay, fine. We'll just use the href that was in the static, slash notes. Not going to let us do that. It's a placeholder. Uh, so how's this look? All right. Just just like the original. We'll worry about the CSS here shortly. Let's go ahead and finish making our HTML, our, our JSX 
for the sidebar real quick. So the other thing that was in there in the static version, we've got our link, and then we've got this sign out business. So we could just copy and paste this and try to make it reacty. So I'll copy this div. I'll put it after my link here. There we go. Let's fix the indentation. Div class must be class name, right? I've got a button. I must be class name. What's this do? Ooh, what's that? That's font awesome. We'll talk more about how it works here shortly, but that's what's going on here. So that's our sign out button. So now we've basically built the JSX for our sidebar component. We haven't styled it yet, but we have a logo. We have a link for creating new notes, and we have a sign out button. None of these things do anything. Yeah. Great question. That is because of Font Awesome, which we will talk about momentarily. Yep. All right, so I'm going to say um, import images and um, add JSX for sidebar. 